this video I'm going to talk about my experience throughout those 10 years in some bit of a different format of video that I would usually do. So hopefully you guys all enjoy it because yeah, let's go talk about the experience I had in the game. Yo, armed with a crappy laptop, I was one of the very few who got to test out the game a weekend long before the game was released in 2011. How excited I was to set suit on the soil of Corbin to get my first lightsaber. After realizing that my computer just couldn't handle the game on high settings. And yes, the Old Republic was my very first MMO. Which meant I had to get a new laptop and just around the time when Swoto released. And ah, the release date, how happy I was! To be laying in bed with a stomach flu. Woohoo! Luckily, living at home meant that my mother was so nice to go get the DVD discs at the local gaming store together with a game time card. Yes! I was still able to play the game. And this is where my journey started. And before going further in the video, please let me know in the comments how your journey started in Star Wars Shield Republic. Because this is how mine started that day. Venturing through the Hudson of Tatooine, snowy mountain tops of Hoth, and the crowded city streets of Coruscant, did I play my way through the many stories that the game had to offer. I was in love with it. But to all good things come to an end, because the worst thing that could have possibly happened, happened to me at the end of 2012 and 2013. The blue screen of death, guys! Rest in peace, my loyal good friend. A new computer opened up so many new pathways for me to play the game. Imagine being able to play PvP without lag. I know, right? And to record your gameplay while doing it. Yep, 2013 was the year where I made my very first video ever and even live streamed for the first time. Oh my gosh, watching those gameplay was just, just hurts my eyes, the quality of these videos. But this is where I made my very first content back in the day. It wasn't really the thing that I wanted to continue doing. So I made those videos just for PvP. And it was also the thing that I got really into. Playing ranked PvP. And getting somewhat better at the game. I branched out out of my comfort zone. And started to join guilds outside of my friends group. I joined the Detoxfight Raven squad on the Progenitor server. Where I became their PvP officer. But... It was about for half a year. I turned my back to PvP and fully went back into the roleplay scene because it was a thing that I really missed. And I just PvP'd casually, but not really more much than that. But this changed when I heard about the other servers, the Red Eclipse, Top of Freedom Net. Those were the places to be if you were really into PvE and PvP. So I moved on, server transferred a few characters of mine to those servers. But I felt homesick eventually. I just couldn't really settle there and I missed the project. The guild that I was in, in the roleplay scene, they vanished, they just disbanded, they were gone. So that was the very first time when I took a half year break from the game. And this was from 2015 till mid 2016. So yes, 2016, going to London for a Star Wars celebration, I heard that there was going to be a cantina tour going to happen in London. I visited a German cantina tour just before I took my break in 2015. I was like, we should have like a Valkorian off on stage and like, <laughs> it would be the best thing ever, but unfortunately they weren't able to make it. And I know how they are, they're really awesome and I want to check it out to see what it all had to offer. And trust me, it was the best decision that I made that summer. I met many old friends and made new friends and even while talking to all those people, I, I accidentally ignored the biggest UK based Swoter PvP content creator. Oh man, I'm still so sorry about that. So if you're watching, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, I had so much fun and it really did reignite the spark to play the game. So with the spark ignited, I returned to the game with full passion. But sadly, it didn't really last long because I came to join a roleplay guild which ended up being filled with drama. And when I say drama, I mean drama. So I got myself as soon out of this guild. In 2017 was the beginning of 2017. And I found myself looking for things to entertain myself with. I played PvP for a really long time before my break. And I felt itch to play it again. And well, if I'm going to PvP, why don't I also livestream it? Mm -hmm. I wanted to share the love that I have for the game with new players. And this is also where I ended up joining the content creator program eventually in 2017, which was back then called the influencer program. I needed a break eventually, and 
I took this break to, for both my mental health and my physical health, underwent the surgery time away, and I came back to pretty much everything in 2018. But as I was terrified of making videos back then, I decided to give YouTube a shot and immediately decided, nope, this is not my thing, and I went back right to Twitch. So while I was on Twitch, I did PvP in those live streams and roleplay on the side. And I somehow managed to juggle this all while also doing my studies. But this all changed in 2020. When having to starting my new study in finance, I found it really hard to make also content on Twitch. So this was the road at the time, I was like, well, I tried YouTube, why not to give it a try again? So yeah, having to make the leap of faith, I decided to upload my first video. And after the first video, it became the second video. And here we are! In a year time, through Schroeder, it's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing, just being on the platform, sharing my love for Schroeder, and having gone for pretty much zero subscribers to almost 5,000. I still play Swotor almost daily. I enjoy the rich storytelling. I love the PvP scene. I love the PvE, but I really love the game. I really love how the developers are working on it. I love the connections I made throughout the game. Meeting the people who work on the game and who are playing the game. And honestly, it's been a really big part of my life. I started to play it when I was 14, 15 years old. I'm 25 now. And I honestly cannot imagine where I would be without the Old Republic. And while I may have found also love for other games outside of Swotor, which I will be covering on this channel, I hope you guys are all in for the ride for many, many, many more years of Swotor to come. So yes guys, this is my story of 10 years of Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, do let me know of how you started to play the game and what your experience are. 